Yes, you're welcome to this session of the other lesson for mathematics in primary six. This is teacher Robert presenting a lesson in primary six from Light Academy Nursery and Primary School. Our dear viewers, learners, don't forget to subscribe to subscribe on YouTube. We are having more of these lessons on YouTube. You can actually check and get some lessons, answer some questions that are just after the lessons that we have already presented. My name is Chair Robert, just like I've already said from Light Academy. I want again to go on and continue from where I stopped in the previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed something concerning consecutive counting numbers. I talked about it. I think you must have done the numbers that I gave as the activity of that lesson. So at, at this time round, I'm presenting something concerning consecutive even numbers. But just like I explained in the previous lesson, if we talk about the word consecutive, it means giving something in its right order. So if I say consecutive counting numbers, I look at the numbers, natural numbers we use in counting. The likes of number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. In that right order minus skipping any of them. So at this level, when I talk about consecutive even numbers, after understanding what the word consecutive means, I've said consecutive means giving numbers, in terms of numbers, you give numbers in their right order of either increasing or reducing. So then if we go to the even numbers, in primary five, these are common words. When we talk about even numbers, even numbers, I can start from this, even numbers, we can ask a question, even numbers. What are these even numbers? So of course, your teacher in primary five must have told you that even numbers are just numbers that we use in counting. But what happens to them? How do I know that this is an even number? They have a fact that when you divide a certain number by any other number, basically two. In fact, when you want to understand even numbers, we compare the division of numbers using the two. Meaning, I divide a number by two, when I don't get a remainder, I simply know that is an even number. Therefore, even numbers are the numbers, these are the numbers, are the numbers, are the numbers that are, that are exactly, exactly divisible divisible by 2. If I say exactly divisible by 2, I mean when you pick a certain number and you divide it by 2 and you don't get a remainder, it means that number is exactly divisible by 2. So amongst the numbers you must have looked at in P5, P4 and probably P3, under the even numbers, the first even number is 0. Like, I can say like, I'm just going to give a sample of them. The first one is always a zero. The second one is a two. The next one is a four. The next one is six. The next one is eight. The next one is ten. I can stop at that. These are some of the even numbers that you must have seen in P5, P4, and probably P3. So these ones are called the even numbers. They have a fact that when you divide them by two, the answer you get does not give us a remainder, okay? So that's why we are calling them even numbers. Then we have another second fact, which is that when I want to give a series of even numbers, for example, when I say, in this series here, I say complete, if I say complete the sequence, complete the sequence below, okay? I can say 0, 2, 4, dash, and dash, okay? And dash, I've given it three spaces. 
I'm assuming this is a simple sequence which will assist me understanding more of the even numbers. I've said the second fact is that when I mention the first even number, to get the next even number, I must add it two to the first even number I've written. For instance here, the first even number is a zero. What would happen if I've started with a, a zero? To get the next number, in between them, there is a difference of two. So if I start from zero, when I add the then when I add the two to the first even number, the next number I get after zero is a two. Then from two I go to four. What happens when I start from the difference between this second number and the third number is a two? Meaning to get the third number I add a two to the second number. Meaning 2 plus 2, the next third number, even number, is a 4. So they have a fact that if I want to get the next even number, I just add a 2 to the previous even number. So to get the next, the following numbers here, I will simply come and I say plus a 2. Meaning the third even number, which is a 4 plus another 2, the next even number becomes a 6. Okay? Then the next even number after 6, how do I get it? I simply add a 2 to the previous number, which is now 6, and I say plus 2. So 6 as an even number plus another 2, I get 8 as the next even number, okay? Then lastly, from 8 to go to the next even number, I will simply add a 2. So we shall say plus 2. Meaning, when I add 8 plus 2, the answer I get is 10. So the second fact is, We've said already that the first fact about the even numbers is that they are completely divisible by 2. Meaning when you divide any number by 2 and you don't get a remainder, of automatically it confirms that it is an even number. The second fact is that when I have the first even number, to get the next even number, I add it to the first even number. That is how their sequence keeps on increasing by adding the two to the previous even number. Those are facts about even numbers. Yes, but at this level of primary six, this is not my major concern. I just wanted us to remember what even numbers are and the facts about even numbers. Our concern is looking at the consecutive even numbers. In P6, there are questions that would demand us to list even numbers in their right order without skipping any of them according to the examiner's intention. Here with me, I'm having a series of questions. I can start from this first one here. Let me use this first question here. There is a question with me here. Simple question. They are saying, one, the sum. They are saying the sum. The sum of three, the sum of three consecutive, the sum of three consecutive even numbers, even numbers is twenty four. Okay, list the examiner's orders, list the numbers. This is our question, our dear learners of P6. They are saying the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 24. List the numbers. Of course, just like we've seen it before, if you read the word sum, what does it mean? The word sum means putting different things together. You add them in other words then you get one solid answer. So sum means just adding what is given and you get one solid answer. So they are saying the sum of the three consecutive even numbers, meaning when we get those three numbers, one following the other, consecutive one following the other, when I get the three numbers and I add them, their total must be 24. That is what the question means. 
list the numbers. But the fact is, I cannot even understand which one is the first one, the second one, or the third one. So at this level here, when we are answering this question, we are having very many ways of answering this question. But I'm just going to pick one of them. But one thing you should know in such questions is that you must understand the starting point. When you don't get the starting point, you cannot even get the ending point. So since I don't know the first number, I'm actually going to say, since I don't know the first number, let me propose that the first number is given any letter according to my choice. For example, to me I'm going to say, let the first number, let the first, let the first even number, let the first even number, I can select the first number because they are three number B, like I've, I've selected letter D, okay? So that is my choice. I've picked letter D as my first number. But remember, we have already said, when I get the first number, that first even number, to get the next even number, I add two to the first even number. So in my opinion here, I'm just going to use a table. I've just have the three sections. You'll be in position to see this table. It is just having two rows. Then it has three columns because they have talked about three consecutive numbers. So this is the table having two rows. Then it is having three columns because they have talked about three consecutive even numbers. So this is my table. I will say, this is my first number, this is my second even number, this is my third even number. I've used the table, our dear learners of P6. So we have already said here that since I don't know the first number, I've said the first number, I've given it letter D. Okay? Then the second one, because when I want to get the next even number, I add 2 to the first one. I will simply come and say D plus 2, okay? Then to go to the next one, I will simply come and say D plus 4, okay? You can see an addition of 2. So from here, I've now assumed that the first one is a D, the second one is D plus 2, the third one is D plus 4. I'm just adding 2 to the previous step. The first one was D. I added 2 to get the next number, which was the second one. Then I added a 4. Because the second number had a 2. When you add a 2 to another 2, you get a 4. So from forming this, I will be in position to form up one general equation. Because they have told me the sum of all of them, when I add all of them, their total must be 24. So I will simply come and say, the first one is a D, plus the second one, which is a D, plus a 2, then plus the third one, which is a D, plus a 4. The total bottom is a 24. Right? So from here, I've like formed a general equation. So for this one, I'm just going to collect the like terms. Letters alone and numbers alone. So I will have these ones as a D plus another D plus another D. Then I will add this C2, 2, which is a number. Add it to the other sister number, which is a plus C4, so plus C4, giving us 24. Right? So from here, what am I having? D plus another D plus another D. These ones are 3D. Then plus, when I add 6 C2, I, when I add them in 2 to 4, the sum I get is 6, which gives us 24, right? So I've made up this equation here. This is a 3D. This is a number and a number. So I'm just going to collect the like terms. A number taken to the system number. Since 6 is a positive integer from here, when it crosses the equal sign, that its side changes from being a positive to being a negative. So I'm going to collect it by subtraction. I will say 3D 
plus 6 minus 6, which is equal to 24 minus 6, right? So this one gives me a result as 0. I'm left with a 3D as being equal to, when you subtract 6 from 24, the answer gotten is 18. Therefore, I'm having a 3D which is equal to 18. But my concern is to get letter D alone. So I will come and say 3D is equal to 18. Divided on both either sides by 3 to remove 3 and I remain with a D. The other side divided by 3. I can reduce this here by factor 3 once, by factor 3 once. When you come to 18, how many 3's can be gotten from 18? What number do I multiply with a 3 to get 18? It's obviously 6. So here is once, each one gets 6. Therefore, D shall be equal to 6. Okay? But remember, D is standing for the first number. This is not a final answer. What am I supposed to do? I'll go back to my table. I summarize these ones. The first number, the first number, we call it D. What have we got as D? It is a 6. The second number, we got it from saying D plus 2. Therefore, this one gives me D, which is already 6, plus 2, giving me the answer as 8. Okay? Then the third number, the third even number, we got it by saying D plus 4. Why we have already gotten D as 6? So I'm having D as 6 plus my 4. The total I get is 10. Therefore, our dear learners, we can be in position to see that when I get the value of the letter, I can simply get these consecutive numbers. And therefore, these numbers are 6, 8, and 10. Those are the consecutive even numbers that the question want us to find out. So automatically, when you look at these three numbers I've gotten, 6, 8, and 10, they are consecutive. They are consecutive even numbers. Of course, from 6 as the even number, the next even number is 8. Then from 8, the next even number is 10. They are in their right order of even numbers according to the question without leaving any of them out. So, our dear learners and viewers, this is the lesson I wanted to present. Because of time, I will of course continue to give some others, but uh, time is limited. This is what I prepared for this lesson. At the end of it all, you'll be in position to get some numbers as an activity at the end of it all. Don't forget to check us on the YouTube for some other kind of lessons of this kind. Catch up next time in the next lesson, Cherub at Light Academy Nursery and Primary School. Stay home, stay safe, and wash your hands.